awkward video for my cup holder because that's what's safe right now while I'm driving. I can just talk to you. So I wanted to clarify that when you go to a church, if they say, come as you are, they better mean to come as you are, bring your brokenness, bring your sin, bring your shame, and come as you are. But the expectation is that you don't stay that way. You don't leave that way. You change. You become different because your mind gets renewed by the word of God. Romans 12, 2 says, renew your mind. And you have to do it every single day for the rest of your life once you know Jesus because he has expectations. And although he does forgive sin, it's not a given. You have to repent. You have to ask for it. And then you have to try, 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 try every day to live your life differently, live changed. So if you're in a church that's telling you that it's okay that you sin, it's okay that you live with your girlfriend, it's okay that you um, still go drinking on the weekends, it's okay that you lie to people or make money in a way that's, you know, on the sly, telling lies to make money. None of that's okay. Read your Bibles. You've got to come up to the standard of Christ. That is his expectation. You will be judged for everything that you do or don't do in your life. And so getting salvation through Christ, calling him your savior is salvation, right? You remain saved by learning to make him the Lord of your life. When he's Lord of your life, it is his way always. It is what the Bible says over what any human tells you. So please absolutely come to church, but please absolutely leave different every week. And throughout the week, in between days that you're in church, read those Bibles. You got to read it every day. Even if it's only a few scriptures, read your Bible, study, pray to God about it, pray to God about your friends, your family, the nation, Israel. You got to pray. You've got to get around other people who believe that's called fellowship. And you got to discuss the Bible. You got to live the Bible with those people so that when you go out into the world, you aren't swamped by all the evil that's out there because it's out there especially right now everybody is on edge because of an election year and we pray just like it says in scripture I can't think of the scripture right now that we get an elected leader that will allow us to continue to worship our God in peace and without persecution so that's my goal for you today is to pray to study, to fellowship, and to worship our Lord, our Savior, our Father God, with all of your heart, mind, and soul, and to know his truth and to share his truth. God bless you. Amen.